This is not how I imagined my first day. Welcome back to the channel, today we're going to be talking about DLC and this can be a very controversial subject but it can also be an element that's done very very well. So we're going to be talking about Resident Evil 2 and the fact that it's already got confirmed day 2 DLC. Now many people may be aware of the DLC that is going to be included already and you may be wondering how do I know that? But it's because it's the Deluxe Edition contents. So if you remember the Deluxe edition has a bunch of special contents that are exclusive to it such as a background music swap they also have a bunch of costumes for both Claire and Leon to switch to and some other stuff in there as well now this content is going to go on sale for around $12 based on the conversion from yen and it will be available on January the 25th and of course this is the first confirmation of DLC although it's not a big deal and I did say before on my channel I thought it was almost confirmed this would happen because Capcom has been adapting this as a business model for quite some time now. Now if Capcom also keeps up its trend of releasing additional DLCs, so Resident Evil 5 had some of the best ones in my opinion, however Resident Evil 7 of course also had a plethora and diversity of them, quite a number actually I think it had the most DLCs out of any RE Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is the one with the most. And if they do keep this trend up, Resident Evil 2 should go far beyond costumes, and maybe even with the base game having more replayability than Resident Evil 7 as they said, maybe they'll also add DLCs to enhance that even further. And there's another statement I do want to focus on. Capcom said they're not focusing on day one sales as much anymore, and it's not a highlight or of importance to them. And to me that could mean a few things, of course it could mean that they know that sales do accumulate over the year and they do get much much larger, especially if you use marketing techniques like doing sales halfway through the year etc, but I do think with Capcom acknowledging like a lot of other companies that DLCs actually can make more than your base game sales, Capcom is looking at DLCs, they're seeing they're selling a lot in the games that they put them into and Resident Evil 2 might get some as well. Now if the writing is done particularly well and they get it down just right, this could be an exceptional addition. We could get new areas of Raccoon City to explore, we could get new survivors perspectives, it'd almost be like a DLC version of Outbreak, and then they could go remake that game anyway, and that'd be fantastic to add. But we do have some confirmation of DLC, so I do think the possibility of further and more additional DLC is going to be a little bit more likely now, or at least we can hope for it. Raccoon City is a thriving environment with many different narratives to tell. There's all sorts of unknown stories that could be crafted up and the diversity of ideas is almost limitless. If you guys do have any ideas or if you always did have a fan fiction or maybe something you would have loved to have seen explored in Raccoon City, please do leave a comment below detailing that and I will get around to reading it, I do promise you that for sure. If you didn't enjoy the video, please do leave a like, a share and a subscribe. Just remember there will be DLC quite a few days after the game's release and I just hope you're having a beautiful day. As always, take it easy and...